Hey guys, my name is Brave Tomato, and welcome to another edition. For the first time in a while, we have a new episode of Visiting the Islands. Well, technically, this is more of a um, I don't know how to describe it. Visiting, visiting the mini game. But anyways, there's just today there has been a, a new release from Pop Tropical Worlds called Doctor Hare's Revenge mini game beta. Okay, that's interesting. So, yeah. I honestly am going in completely blind. I don't know much about this. I don't know if this is going to be a true sequel to 24 Karat, um, or if it's just going to be a repeat of Dr. Hare's Secret Lab, but from the looks of the mini window over there, uh, it doesn't seem like it. But anyways, since I'm a manor member and I have the opportunity to do this, let's get started, shall we? Um, okay, I guess I don't ask Sissy from here. Maybe I go into the map. Whoa! Look at that place! And notice how tiny it is. It's so small compared to the other islands. Maybe that's an indication of its minigame? Can you collect all the story and carrots? So, it seems like it's going to be a kind of like mini game ish kind of thing. As well, we know it's a mini game, but. Revenge Island, okay. That's. that sounds promising. Let's see what this is all about, shall we? Pull the fabled golden carrot from the ground and it's yours. Um, what is this? <laughs> What's this all about? I mean, seriously, isn't Dr. Hare's totem a golden carrot? What's going on here? Grab. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Wow. Rude. So well, that's... Where am I? Greetings, swishy human. You are currently in low orbit over Pop Tropica on the space station H-A-R-E. Up the space station? What's with the carrots? H-A-R-E stands for Harvester and Resource Extractor. From this factory, Dr. Hare is preparing a more content-based content mind control serum. Dr. Hare? Darn that evil villain! I will relay your kind words. How can I stop him? It is impossible, but perhaps if you could gather the carrots from the facility before he can process them, then it is possible his plans can be thwarted. Then that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Can you collect all the stolen carrots? Enter an unlocked zone and then choose an unlocked area. Level to start. Okay, this is kind of a weird level thing. To progress, you must complete a level to unlock the next level. Proceed in this faction until you have locked all the levels. Jump up to collect all the carrots in the room, then get to the exit before time runs out. Looks like it's one of these games. If you run out of time... Okay, then crowns your trophy being all the zones and levels. Okay, seems like it's relatively simple. Ooh, this is kind of really cool. Cool aesthetic, extra, extra large rabbit control ears. What would you say that for? Okay. And no, our heads are not really that big, are they? There's Beware the Hair again. How to make better mind control. How to finally unlock the carrot's potential. How do I get my revenge? Okay. Respect the carrot, okay. Oh, right, I'm in space, that's why I'm a little bit... Okay, so looks like there are a total of four zones. And each of them, let's see how many levels each zone has. Oh, this looks like it's going to take a while. So, there's different levels and zones, I see. And each zone has 10 levels, so boy, that's gonna be take a while. So, let's start off with the very first level, shall we? And see how this plays. Ah, flashbacks! Flashbacks! Galactica! 
Not those flashbacks! Hi. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Please excuse that little brief little breakdown there. I... Okay. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Don't worry, guys. And the game seems pretty simple. Just go through stuff and stuff first. Next. I can imagine it's gonna get a bit harder as the game goes on. But still it could serve as a serviceable like um little game of go around, jump on things, and catch them, and all that stuff. So, yeah. And as each level goes on, it's gonna get a little more complicated. So, let's continue. It seems like the time, like, fixes up itself, like, as you continue playing, so... So, here we are. Now, and I have a feeling it's gonna get much harder as it goes along. Or at least it should get. Right now it's just very simple, like, jump and stuff. So... Looks like this is the first, like, relatively, like, challenging part of it. There we go. And it seems like you have to get to the door in time as well, so... Hmm. Well then. So, let's go in. Carrots out of reach, the carrot pulp can help. Jump. And it seems like... Is, wait a second. Is that a tomato? I'm on a tom freaking tomato. <laughs> it looks like a tomato, but I'm pretty sure it's just a carrot. Don't get too ho hopes too high, brave tomato. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up running into enemies at some point or another. Whoa, that jumped a little bit. Now I'm dropped off here and just gotta cruise along here. And then the door. So, a question. Would this take place immediately after 24 Carat or would it take place after Super Villain? I have no idea when in this timeline, the Pop Tropic timeline, this would take place, to be perfectly honest with you. Jump, and jump, and jump. There we go. I'm in. So now the next level, we just gotta go around, jump up, and up, and up. Oh, it's one of these things, okay. Okay, it started to get a little more complicated, I see. There we go. Perfect. So now that we've got that. So just keep on collecting all these freaking carrots. I don't know where you're putting them, but certainly going to put them somewhere. There you go, got- Oh, I just noticed that there's this little map here to indicate where the carrots are. That's nice. Ah, uh, I missed it. Oh, thank you. 
No, thank you. Just gotta jump up and up and up and up. Looks like we're giving a little more time in here, too. Looks like I have to, like, drop down, like, three times. Which is gonna... Ugh. Okay. Things have definitely gotten a bit more complicated. There we go. One row down. Okay, I'm on. Get me down. Frick! Wait. Oh, that's just the halfway, like, marker music. Ah! Okay! Isn't games fun, guys? <laughs> Come on. Oh, why did I do that? Thanks for thanks for that freaking freaking um thing. Okay. Uh I, uh, I'm not gonna make this one unless I go take down that row over there. That'll give me a little more time. Take down the row that's all the way on the end there. Oh! Okay, so at least now it's not always going to be very easy on me. And it looks like I lost the sound for the carrots, cool. So first I'm, I'm gonna take care of these. Got one row down. I just noticed a neat little touch. Since I'm wearing headphones, like, if you go onto the left side of the screen, you can see the, hear the sound coming from the left side of the, um, of the earphones. And if you go onto the right side of the screen, you could hear on the right side of the earphones. That's actually kind of cool and clever. Nice little audio trick that you got going there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell in the video, but if you play, um, this game for yourself, then you'll see what I then you'll see what I mean. So it's a cute little like editing trick that we have there. So let's continue on, shall we? You know, if we're gonna do this thing, I really hope that like um you actually get to see Dr. Hare. Besides that weird bot thing. Okay, so I finished level 10, zone one, so quarter of the way there. Not bad, human, but the bulk of Dr. Hare's carrots are reserves are in the remaining zone. They grow even ever more hazardous. Okay. Please take a short survey. Oh, okay. So, I'm just gonna go into the survey for a moment. So, so I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I am back, you guys. So now I'm into zone two. Now that I have taken the survey, I can just go ahead and do that. Time to- Oh, Cool place! I'll be honest, the kitchen looks really cool. Is there like a little lift or something like that up there, or...? Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'll just collect these ones over here, too. Oh! Okay. Cool. And jump over, and jump over, and... Bam. Down we go, and we complete the level. 
So as we continue to go through, let's see what the next level entails. The, main comp the chief complaint about that I have about these games, like unless it employs like new features as, as we continue throughout the levels, it's this can get kind of repetitive. So just a little, like piece of oh pa okay, but so far on the the web the the um, controls are working really nicely in my favor. So that's good sign. There we go. <laughs> So let's see my score. And then we, as we continue, we can continue seeing the scenes and the levels and all that stuff. Okay. Okay, cool. Leap up, leap up, and run. Over. So now here we are at the zone, and then let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. Well then. Aha! That's how you're gonna work this game, eh? Ooh. Clever, okay. Now you're just leaving me to wait. Okay, waiting again. Uh, as we move along, we can just get up and out and at him and get up and out and at him. Oh, where? How do I get up there? there. Uh oh. Better figure out fast because I'm starting to run a little bit low on time. Just gotta run. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Found you. Hurry up, hurry up, up and... Up and please, yes. Cool. I mean, it just in the nick of time. Just gotta leap down and boo yeah. Nailed it. So let's continue on to our little old quest here. Ooh. Neat. A whole room full of this stuff. Now we just gotta hurry up and get these things in order to progress in our little game here. Uh oh. Got that one, at least. Okay. Almost there. Booyah! Okay, okay, let's just get up there quick. And hoping we can get up to the whatchamacallit? The door. Made it just in the nick of time. Nice. Jump up. Jump over. And up. So we can go down over here. Go over here and then jump. How do you get that one? Oh, you jump. You go through this. Cool. Now go over and up, up and at him. Uh oh. There we 
we go. And it, out we go. Level six. Yep, it's definitely getting harder. That I won't deny. But I got a question. How does Dr. Hair's golden carrots get just go around and all this stuff? I gotta see me those rules one day. Run and get the carrots down here. Now I just wait for the carrots to go up here. Bam. Just run up and over and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now I just gotta get back over there. All the way over there. Oh, perfect. And I'm getting in and I'm getting a hovering victory roll. Perfect. Another one of these levels. First I gotta get all the ones that are possible to get by this method. Oh, it's a heart. That's cute. Ah. Okay, let's see. Should I jump up? So, how's your guys' days doing? I guess um, it's October, which means it's, things are gonna get really spooky soon. So that sounds really like fun. So, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just playing through the zones. So as we can hear along... Okay, there's nothing up down there, so... Just gotta make sure I grab each of them. Gotta be a ninja. Gotta be a freaking ninja. Ten... Eleven... Twelve! Woohoo! Geronimo! <laughs> Good things Pop Shop games can't take falling damage. Now let's continue on. Word and upward. Scene a hundred. Okay. Oh, that's an- oh. I, I got blind for a moment. I didn't realize that that wasn't. Okay, let's see. Okay, I got all the ones, almost all the ones over there, and just bounce one more time. Wait, that's supposed to spell something? I can double check like after the video, but <laughs> but it seems like it's gonna be fun. It seems like it's gonna be funny though. Because that looked like a C, and so... Okay. So just jump down over here. And it's like a diamond. So now we know, Pop Chompkins can jump on an average of three carats tall. So, cool to know. Don't worry, I'm moving, I'm almost done. And out I go. And that was level 10, everybody. So now we finish level 10. There's only two. Dr. Hare still has sufficient cares to enslave all Pop Tropica. You must hurry. The next zone is the most dangerous yet. Okay, cool. I already took the survey. So, I'm good. Now that we're in, let's go continue on with the level, shall we? Watch out for Ragoth guards. Touching them gives you quite a shock. Okay, f look, actual enemies. In a way, I guess. But, ooh, very spacey area. 
So is this like a space desert room? How many, how much room does Doctor have in this freaking lair anyway? Ah, clever. That thing's trying to be clever on me. Wait, did Dr. Hare, like, take a visit to, like, Steamworks or something and borrow some of their technology there? <laughs> okay. So, jump over and up. Bend over and up. Bend over. Bend over. And jump. Bend over here and jump They're, those little like shock things are kind of cute to be honest and the door is unlocked and in we go <laughs> onwards and upwards we go That actually gave me a boost, thank you. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Being pushy there, aren't you? Ugh. Okay. There we go. That's how you get them things done in a smooth and quick matter. It's not so much of shock as much as it is an ouch. So onwards and upwards we go. A challenge. I okay. Let's see. Jump up. Uh, okay. There we go. Got the all the ones on this that side. Coolio. Got some out of the way over here too. And doors unlock so. Wrong door, but thank you anyway. That was level 5. So, onwards and upwards we go. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, excuse me. That's what I get for trying to be a ninja. Okay. Um. And in we go. One nine six nine six. Interesting. So. Continuing onwards and upwards, we go. Three. Two, three. And in we go. Ah, uh, I see. I see what they're doing up there. I see what those things are doing up there. Oh, the door's all the way down there, okay. That's we go. Looks 
Russell. Jump up, jump up. Space. It's physics. They're glorious. I guess it's really testing like your skill and quickness on this these trampolines here. Up and up and up and up. Ah, it's one of these. Okay. Well, excuse me. It's time consuming alone to do. Oh, come on. It's to get up these things are set them by themselves, so. What just happened? Okay, the game just froze. Wow, okay. That just happened, so... Well, luckily everything's back up and running, but... And looks like there's some little clipping thing going on here. Uh, there's that little brief lip of a lag, it seems like. It seems like the scene is really big, so I don't blame it exactly. Why did I do that? Okay. No, I'm at the halfway point, so... But luckily, I don't have that many carrots to grab, so... Okay, just probably one more trip and I'll be good. Jump up. And get onto the... the model rail. Then we shall fall. Woohoo! Now just gotta keep on falling, free falling, and out we go. Look at that care score. That's level 8. So I'm almost there. Almost done with the zone. So. Whoa, you guys are fast. Oh, thank you. <laughs> These guys have definitely gotten faster. Okay, I needed those carrots in that row anyway, so... Okay, don't get caught in- Whoa! That was a close call. And I finished the door. So luckily you got a speed over there, so... Down we go, and down and out. Luckily that little map issue dude was doing a good job of pointing out where stuff is, so... On the bright side, at least you're not panicking and running around seeing where you miss stuff. Looks like in these po points of times you might actually... Okay, no you don't. Okay. Okay. Okay, pushy. So it looks like I have to... I see what I have to do. I might- 
not be able to finish this level in time, however. Okay. Oh, door unlocked. Perfect. Perfect timing. Whew. Now that I finished that level, now we're up to the final zone. Only one zone wears. We spin right here. Talk to our warehouse hires wise to your presence will do anything to stop you. Odds of your survival are incalculable. Wow, thanks for being reassuring there, buddy. Now up to the final level. Bosses, I sh final of zone, I should say. Um this is my great jam. Oh, sh oh, d dang! This is my jam. Yes, I love this song. This is the virus. This is the little song that's in the the virus hunter um, boombox. I'm so glad that they included it. I love this song. I'm so glad that they used it for the final level because it puts me in a much better mood than I was definitely before when the Galactic Hot Dogs music was playing. Okay, that just put me in a good mood. <laughs> okay, I gotta get up there somehow. So I just, it's mainly maze stuff that, I, wow, amazing. Okay. Who maze? Just gotta move into this. I'll save the ever Okay, at least I got the carrots in here. And I did it! Nice! Lucky 13 number of carrots. Now as we continue on, waves of... Another type of this type of puzzle. I am killing it. I think this see uh, so far so far things have been a little bit easier than it was before. Okay, thanks for opening up the pathway. Rude. Well, at least it's keeping me on the level. Okay, I can't jump up there yet. Nice little cute little arrangement there. Okay. Down you go. Okay, I got two rows down. At least I don't have to jump up. I'll be honest, this, the music alone makes this last part a little more, much more fun, so... 
And out we go. Half, and I'm not, after this level, I'm halfway done with this and the game. And over we go, and up, and over we go. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Well, in the meantime, I can grab the one that's... I can grab the one that's over here. Or not. Okay, I can just grab this one that's over here. And run over to the left over there. Oh, I see how this is. Oh, thanks. Oh, thankfully. So, in we go. Halfway done with this level, woohoo. Oh god. <laughs> Did I just get lucky or something? <laughs> wow, I think I just got lucky on that one. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. The second I all saw it froze on me. Whoa, that's a lot of carrots. Snap. 236. Wow. That's about as long as a tweet, I think. I'm sorry, I'm just getting lost in this music. I love it. Call me a sucker for this kind of stuff, but I'm not, and I'm not usually much of an electro type of person. Like, I don't know. I apologize if I get the genre of it, of this type of music wrong, but it's, but either way, it's something that I don't normally really like, but that this specific song, for some reason, I really like. Two hundred and two. I can do this. I can do this. Grab that one, and then there's a couple ones to grab over there. I can do this. Okay. Seems like I have to do it like this. Get over there by like this. Almost there. I almost got them all. Okay. Just got him keep moving. Don't stop. Door unlocked. And out of here I go. Level 7 complete. And let's go up. Aha! Ha! Cool! Okay, let's handle this. Ah, I see that little gap there. I gotta jump through that gap. Oh, jeez, okay. Get me up there, please. Thank you. Those guys are not gonna move, right? Oh, hopefully. Oh, that was a perfectly timed 
session. So I just gotta get up there. Okay. Come on, let me get up. Okay. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Yes, I know I can do this if I really will try. And out I go. And is this the second to last or is this the last level? Oh, stairs! Everybody's favorite stairs! With a trick stair in the middle there, I see. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Easy. Okay. I can't, it's not as easy to climb up as it is to climb down. Clever. Cool. So, okay. Ah! Okay, it's easier to climb down, up, than, down than up, so good to know. I see they're, they're, they expect you to finish this in like a short amount of time too, so... Will I make it this time? Will I? Just keep topping along and hope for the best. Okay, down I go. And out I go. Woof. One level left. Whew, boy. And out we go into the final level. Let's see. I'm probably lagging a little bit. And here we are. Oh, it's shaped in a rabbit. Cute. I'm gonna. <laughs> I am going to destroy this rabbit once and for all, I guess. So. Just keep going down the line here. Ah, I see the little minions are like the. are like the, um. The what you call it's the 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 buck teeth. <laughs> Two hundred and thirty-three. That's actually a little bit less than was in that one level. So huh. interesting. Got you. There's the art of collecting. I guess you can call this an art of um, collecting carrots. I wonder, is Dr. Hare actually going to be in this game? I mean, I've seen that little android thing, but I don't know if Dr. Hare himself is going to be in this game. Because if it is, oh my gosh. <laughs> down, BT. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> well, then again, this is a beta, so of course these glitches are to be expected. <laughs> I'm, I was completely upside down, Lord. That was freaking hilarious. Okay. Out I go. So my grand total is so it's 205,494 points. Impressive. You cleared all the characters. Accept this prize in recognition of your feat. What prize? 
Oh, there's um, 500 coins for completing the island. Wait a second. This is 24 carat islands. This is the other, this is the Dr. Hair secret lab all over again. Where am I? Okay, um, okay. Where the heck is Dr. Hair? <laughs> so we apparently stopped his scheme, I guess. Hooray. So yeah, I guess it's about time we head home now, isn't it? So let's head, up, let's head on back home, shall we? Wait, that's not home. And then let's head into my house so we can place down this trophy. So yes, this was my first time completing Dr. Hare's Revenge, which is basically Dr. Hare's Secret Lab 2.0. <laughs> so as we head inside, welcome to my house, by the way. Please make yourself comfy. And I think it'd be befitting if we put the the Dr. Hare's Dr. Hare thing with Dr. Hare's revenge thing right next to the Dr. 24 carrots. Perfect. So, with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching my Visiting the Islands episode of Dr. Hare's Revenge. It was a cute little it was a cute little romp around and to see like it's cool to see the aesthetic of 24 carat happen all over again. Although it's kind of a generic story, I still find it really enjoyable. Oh, the mini game kind of did end up being enjoyable, especially during that last level. Or maybe it was because that music pumped me up, I don't know. But anyways, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you tune in to my YouTube channel when I eventually- where I post content whenever. Alright, till next time, BTM. <laughs>